everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video the bee harvest has started Not the way I'd like to be starting it, but we are opening the field by hand So we have bro, Jess and Troy, Troy's a neighbour who's giving us a hand at And Father Phil has the cushy job in the loading shovel And he's happy out in there As always So this is our sugar beet So we're opening it, so that means we're pulling a track in Two headlands and a run down the middle so that we can start harvesting the field. We could come in and start pulling, but we would lose a lot of bees. A lot of the bees we're harvesting now would be just lost into the field. We don't plan on putting any cattle or sheep out here to graze it after it's harvested tea hauled the lovely green leaves. So we need to open it, otherwise it'd be a good bit of waste. And because it's only two and a half, it's a hectare, that's was a hectare pack went in here. It's not massive big field that you could afford to lose. That. So this is what we're doing, Come doing on. ourselves. But yes, we're giving out. They better put down the camera, and we get a bit done. Got a lot of beef, but look whose side's the biggest. My and Jesse. Woo woo! What is that, lad? See a small beater? You just saw. That's the first bucket pull. Lahali. So we've kind of an idea. Just a couple of things I want to run through while we're pulling. That's quite interesting. And I'll try. Door, we're getting a lot of beet well, that beet's not too bad but at the start we were getting a lot of beet that was club rooted so I don't know can I find one that's good it's good yeah the further we get that's what I mean by club rooted a lot of them roots a lot of not just like uh, like this one a big singular root but like that, a lot of roots coming out of them. And the further we got from the gap, the less of them we're finding. So originally we were told it's probably down to compaction. We did plow the field, but this field has been, this is the first time this field was ever plowed, ever. I don't think Uncle Ian ever remembers plowing this field. We used to keep this in silage. The other side too, especially out in this club rooted, it has this massive mop of leaves in comparison to the more singular ones and it's not the biggest beet we've harvested but because it is proper sugar beet you bring it to a refinery and make sugar it's a high dry matter so it's a smaller beet packed full of more energy compared to what we would have grown magna cagnus magnum cagna and miniature which was a softer larger beet but was more lower dry matter and um, so yeah there's a there's a lot in it but we'll see how we go, not when we get fully harvested will we really make a conclusion on it but at the minute, a good bit of club root in it the problems with that is it'll make it a little bit harder to pull and we're going to bring more clay out of the field as all them roots are going to hold more clay they're the two big downsides to the club root so we'll just see how it goes but especially the headlands, it's not till we get into the middle of the field can we really make a conclusion, was it compaction or have we a deficiency in the field? Because beet is very susceptible to certain deficiencies. Anyways, we better get back to it. Yeah, you better. This is worse than turf. Worse than turf? Worse than turf. No, turf is worse than turf. Yeah, but it's still making me have it all over. So, the dinner has arrived, mother has brought it up, so chips and burgers from Mac Shacks, probably our own Stuart family farm Friesian bull beef mints. So, left the camera down at the loading shovel, hence I'm on the phone. We get this into us and we get back to it. 35 minutes a bucket. Two buckets picked now and 35 minutes a bucket, so it's not too bad. Won't take too much longer, will it bro? You'll be able to bend down now after eating all this. Burger, that for a burger. The new debate is will we be able to pick the next bucket in 35 minutes? It'll be more like 45. <laughs> 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes. You're ambitious. 
more, more, like, <coughs> more like 10 minutes. See, it's already sort of full, so technically we'll just start where we left off. Yeah. 20 minutes, it'll be full. Hell, 10 minutes will be full. Yeah, so, Jess. Yes. You're ready to go again. Ready to rock. Jeez, I'm stuffed. <laughs> I stopped eating the chips, which is probably the best. <laughs> best thing ever. I ate the bag of onion rings. <laughs> and the bag of chips and the burger. I'm like, dude, how'd you eat that much? <coughs> I eat three onion rings, though. So feel, like like... feel like you need wind in. As... <laughs> As, go burp yeah. yeah. As Father Phil said, an empty stack doesn't stand and a full stack doesn't bend. So yeah. Don't know how this is gonna uh, go. It's gonna be a bit slower. <laughs> Just a, a bit. A bit slower. Anyways. Oh, she's so grand. Is you're not gonna be able to bend down, bro? Not a chance. <laughs> Another bucket. The beach has got a lot bigger. Now we're going down the rows, and it's also got a lot harder pull, and it is more uniform. So I'll just pull one out there. Two hands. Go on, go on, two hands. Oh. One hand. Yeah, so that's a smaller kind of one. There is bit there's big ones. This is about a medium size one we're getting at the minute. It's more uniform, it's a single route, still has a few of these little fairly gig root sticking over but it's not too bad definitely see the difference between the middle of the field and the headland especially around that gap and the gap into the old house there definitely see a, a difference around them gaps it was all these club roots it was right right bad but they're not bad they're bigger harder pulled but it's not too bad another amazing thing is how dry the ground is not leaving a track he's not even gathering muck in between the dual wheels and that's why they're on just in case but um and even like you pick up a beat and you can give them a couple of taps and look that extra bit of dirt falls off so that's a good sign it means that when we do get out here with the harvester even with that bit of a club brew holding that bit more clay with it being that dry the clay is just falling off which is what we want to see so still have a long way to go to that end and yeah, another headland so yeah, it's, you can definitely feel it in your arms, can't you? No, yes. I feel it. In my I pull hands. a head and then chop. Oh, my hands, my hand my is hand just like the hand. yeah, the grip yeah, in the hand is starting to go. <laughs> if I let my ha hands dangle, just feel like I'm That's why I go pull a whole load and then chop them off. Yeah. Anyways, we keep beating on. Oh, he's the hard job, hasn't he? Oh, yeah. very hard job, and not driving over the people who are actually doing the work. Yeah. yeah. Such a hard response. You swap with him, bro. You you could try and convince him to swap. He's not gonna get out of there. I uh, know he would if you asked. I don't think he would. 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 And another one. Fuck my life. <laughs> it's not that bad, bro. I say there's another there's another two buckets at two least buckets, yeah. before we get to the other end, and there's at least a bucket at the other end. More maybe, even. Maybe. <laughs> You look excited, bro. I'm dying of the thirst. Them chips are salty. We're Sweating like a pig here. Are you all right? Also, the reason why Liv's not here is Liv went off to a friend's birthday in England. Her best Lucky friend. Her be Don't just say a friend. Her, her best friend. Her best friend, Bryony. So you guys shout out to Bryony. Yeah. Liv is. So yeah, that's why Liv is gone. So Very she, lucky to be missing. She, she picked, she picked the right weekend for up. Anyways, we you get this done. And another one. This is starting to feel like that trend on TikTok where it's um, first drink, second drink, and how everyone is. Second. 
marathon, isn't it? <laughs> That's that uh, fifth bucket. I wasn't counting, I don't know. I think it's it's fifth. on video. Fifth. I don't know how many buckets. It took one to get to there, then took two to get all down there. And it's the third three, bucket four, here. Five, five. Yeah, five buckets. This is hard work. Shit, oh, there's duck, his army bring. helicopter. Oh, she must be here. Maybe. Yeah, well, drinks have arrived. Lads. Drinks have arrived. Hopefully. Is it? Yeah, she's here. Hey! Yeah. Woo! Oh, I don't know. Oh, your fingers. What? How are your fingers? What? what did you get to drink? I'm Luke is it. I need all the energy I can get. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing the hard work, he needs the energy. Just to lift it up of all the beat into the trailers. Now the just remember, if you tip it over the edge, you have to pick them up. We ain't picking them twice. That big cock size. Oh, there you go. You're I'm, not, told. I'm not throwing turf twice again. Either. No. Which is the easier job, the ball or the beat? Beat. Beat. Get in the mouth. Yeah, why'd you say get a pair of knives? <laughs> <laughs> That is bucket number six. Throws hard at it. I hope you don't mind me shooting between the camera and the uh, phone. Camera's just about out of battery anyways. Forgot to get off him. Oh, yeah. Very tired. We're nearly there. Thought we did got to the far end, but... Hey, oh. It's getting better as we go. Yeah, crop is just getting harder better. It's getting harder to pull and as... Harry could demonstrate. Yeah. Standing on them. They're all pulled from me. Yeah, there's still a bit, a bit of a club rule, huh? Yeah, I don't have the energy to do that anymore. That's where I'm doing it now. I just pull them and try chops it. <laughs> Tag teaming, isn't that? Yeah, hey? that is the idea. Anyways. It's <laughs> like I want to do that anymore. Man, on the mission. See, <laughs> if we had this much energy at the start of the day, we'd be. <laughs> Finished. <laughs> We'd be finished to be this much energy at the start. Anyway. He must be getting cold because he's the door shut. And he looks happy. Pagan yeah. shit. Watching he's watching YouTube there. Probably watching Ollie vlogs. <laughs> so we have reached the other end of the field. It's now dark. The trailer's full. Bucket has to go back that way. Seventh load and we're going to leave the headland. We do have a good grass margin this side because of the trees. We couldn't um, get in real tight. So we have a nice headland here. I don't know what he's planning on doing. Turning around maybe. What's he doing? Turning. Oh. So Father Phil's going to drive on beat there or whatever. So I have to count the rows of beat from one end of the field to the other. And every six rows, is a load so father feels quite happy middle of the field seems to have done quite well there's that bit of club brew in it worse around areas that would have had more compaction in the past than the middle of the field still not right i'm going to have to do a little bit of research just on the variety just to refresh my memory on it maybe it's a trait of that variety that ch tends to suffer from that maybe it's not it might just be a deficiency which do you think it is anyways Go count these rows, see how many's there, and yeah, we go home and see what this trail load of beat looks like in a bit more brightness. So we are back in the yard now. A trailer load of beat. Uh, it is quite well packed. And yeah. So we counted the rows in the field. There's a hundred and twelve rows. So I'll have to go up and down the field a hundred and twelve times with the harvester. Took about six rows to fill the trailer, so Father Phil's reckoning it'll take six rows to fill every trailer. So he's reckoning, based on that, then there's 18 and a half load. He's hoping to get 10 ton in a load, so you can do the maths there. It's 100 and he's reckoning about 170 ton of beat in the field, which wouldn't be bad going. That is the estimate. So we will, when I get pulling, because I think I'm going to be doing the pulling, um, we will weigh a load just to get a rough estimate, and we'll see how. To get a weight, and then we'll see how it actually works out from our estimate. That's the beat, and yeah, we got to get the beat chopper pulled in. We can start feeding this to bulls now. Long overdue, but the bulls are doing quite well without it. So hopefully this is a good push on, and it'll get the last bit of flesh on them. Another thing, Troy found this while we were pulling the beat, and well, it's a sh it's a shoe, 
Father Phil reckons it's a ginnet shoe because it's too small to be a horse's shoe, he reckons. And for those of you that may not know, a ginnet is a cross between a pony and a donkey, if I remember rightly. Either that or it's a female donkey and a male horse or vice versa. It's one of them hybrids and you can see the wear that's on it. So it had a long life of being used before it ended up in that field where we're after finding it. But um, has anyone else ever found anything interesting like that? We do generally come across quite a few horseshoes. There's quite a few with them around the yard uh, that have been found while plowing. Probably the most interesting thing we ever found was we found a very, very old English coin from the 1800s in Waterfields, just out there behind the silage pit. So that was quite interesting. It's probably one of the best things. And it's one of them, when you're working land, when especially tilling and that, you do find interesting things like that. So leave a comment down below and in interesting you found while working the land. And on the harvester, how am I on at the harvester? Nearly ready to go. I have all the pipes, all I've left to do with the harvester now is rip off the pipes going to the two pump motors that turn the two carousels. And then the harvester's fully ripped. I have her fully greased. I have everything that should be moving, moving again. All we need to do is get her bits on Monday and then start putting the jigsaw back together. And hopefully by Wednesday night, it's all back together and running. And by Thursday next week, we should be pulling beef. That is the goal. And yeah, hopefully it all goes to plan. Be interesting to see how this pulls the heads on it because our harvester pulls by the leaves. Some of them are nice, straightforward, but some of them have this huge big head of leaves. And that could be difficult or interesting i don't know which it may not pull that well we'll just have to wait and see but anyways we're gonna leave it at that for today's video as always please like and subscribe to the channel videos every tuesday thursday and sunday and hopefully this day a week there'll be a beat pulling video that is it for me good luck